Hello Internet, is I the Roshi and I'm back with another reaction, this time reacting to Arlequino's character demo. You know what's gonna be badass, let's get into it! Legend has it that long ago, the long nights were the den of dangers untold. The children would huddle at home and light the hearth, awaiting the adult's return. Hmm. Oh my god. That music drop. The fact that she has that scythe is super freaking cool. Oh, wow. This is going way too hard right now. <laughs> I hear that the children love to play by the fireplace. So let us continue to use the name House of the Hearth. Still, its flame is no longer needed. For you have the strength to defend yourselves. Mm. Okay. I think I'm onto something. Holy shit, that was awesome. Oh my god. Okay, once again, amazing character demo. They keep killing it with Arlequino stuff. This is no exception. She is such a badass and a cool character. There's just so much intrigue, even more so than before I'm thinking about. She has this curse that I talked about during the animated short. You should go check that out if you haven't seen my reaction to that as of yet. But I mentioned how she is like a discrepancy that she's like an error of some kind because of how the curse looks and her eyes and, and we see this glitch stuff happening around her. She uses a scythe I'm sure I saw that before in the 4.6 version trailer. Having a scythe as a weapon is kind of edgy, but I love that. I love that so much. The final line that she says in this demo, which is fan-freaking-tastic. She says it's no longer going to be needed, that they can defend themselves. Whatever's happening in 4.6 is Arlequino's way of disbanding the hearth. The House of the Hearth, it's being disbanded. She's leaving it behind. It's going to be dissolved. It's just not necessary. It's not needed. And whether or not it turns out to be a death wish on her part, I'm sure it's at the very least a challenge to her children, to the people that she's raised, for them to go up against her and for them to prove themselves and just show them that, like, yeah, you don't need anyone else. You have yourselves, you have each other. You don't need me, you don't need this corrupted system that you've been in for so long. And it's her way of ending it once and for all. That's how I'm kind of piecing it together, how I think it's going to work. I think this is a way out of it. I loved how we saw her in different places, the church in Mondstadt, the Tory gates in Inazuma, the throne in Fontaine. Those were all nice touches. 
and I know I haven't gotten to it yet, but I am going to make a video that's a reaction of Emberfire, the song that is used in the animated short for Alarkino. And one thing that they used in this demo as well is that they have this children choir, these children singing, and how that was such a powerful moment in the animated short it is equally as powerful and just... Oh, you just feel it in your soul. I'm also excited for her collective miscellany as well. I know that they're not the most popular thing to make reactions for and to talk about, but at the same time, I can't wait to hear what the narrators have to say about Arlecchino and what just, just I'm, I'm eating it up. I'm eating up all this information about this character right now. It is so much fun. Anyway, you let me know in the comments down below. Are you going to be pulling for Arlecchino after seeing this? After seeing the animated short, the teaser, all the things. Are you going to be pulling for her? Best of luck with whatever you decide to do. And until next time, shine on, you crazy diamonds. Later. Later.